Blessed be and welcome to the Circle of Heka. I'm Lady Amaris. So we're getting quite crafty today and uh, we're going to make some Heka runes. Now these runes are used to uh, for divination and to tap into your your subconscious or to to communicate with your guides or however you, you use divination for. And uh, some of these symbols that you've seen around the place, uh, there's no one exclusivity on, on any of these symbols. They are just put together to, to help you out um, and help to tap into your subconscious. So all you need is some river stones. You need 14 river stones and then you need uh, one stone that is uh, round and one stone that is a little bit longer. And uh, these are to signify uh, male and female and are usually just used when you are doing a reading for someone else but is not necessarily when you're doing one for your yourself. So uh, the stones are, are relatively flat, um, a nice size, uh, not too big, not too small. Uh, you'll need a, a paintbrush and uh, some paint. Now I've used nail polish but you can use um, white paint or you know, silver paint however you, you would like to go. You know, this is yours so however you want to go. And uh, then you just start painting the symbols. Now I like to, to have a look at a stone and, and find out just a little bit what's, what symbol would look good on that stone and uh, you start connecting with your, your, your stones, with your runes. Now this will be different to if you were buying some stones or buying some runes already made up. You would have to forge a connection, you would obviously have to sit with the stone, maybe sleep with them, hold them, um, all of that sort of thing to forge a connection with your stones. But because you are making them yourself, that uh, is ingrained in the stone as you are making them. And uh, so with any form of divination, having that connection and using those stones to start to, to bring out your, your, inner, um, your inner psychic ability, your inner creativity, tapping into that, uh, that subconscious side of yourself. And uh, when, you're, when you're using these stones, this is, uh, this is basically the method. It is, there's no hard and fast rule as to how you will interpret these stones because you are tapping into your subconscious. And these symbols may mean different things to you than, than um, what um, will be written down in, um, in, in, a, in a moment. Uh, you have a look at these stones, how they, how they set, set out and how they're interplay with others and let that start to speak to your subconscious. Let your conscious mind and your subconscious mind start to communicate with each other uh, and using any form of divination that will start to bridge that gap between your conscious and your subconscious mind. So you can see once you've you've got them, lay them out, let them dry for a little while um, and it will depend on what media you've used, whether you've used paint or whether you've used uh, nail polish, but make sure that they're good and dry before you, you start using them. I would give at least a day just to, to dry them. So the, the symbols that we have here um, as we're going through, through you can um, you can pause them and have a look at each one. I'll actually put the uh, what it is in the description box below so that you can make them yourself but again it is about forging that bond um, with you so some of these symbols may mean slightly different things to you and in some of these symbols again they are a little bit generic in their in their interpretations because it's about the interplay between the symbols it's about your question and how that works with with those symbols it's not this means this and this means that and there's no there's no um, gray area. That's not how these runes work. It's about working with your subconscious. So 14 uh, symbols and then one for male and one for female. And again using those um, if you're reading for someone. So we have a um, a few different uh, interpretations. You can have past, present and future. Uh, and they can be done in, in various ways and um, these are just some uh, examples or you may try using it in a, a pentacle fashion where you have your your question um, if you're not sure about something your question is in in, in the center uh, and the, the the 
the part points on the around will be um, give you information on how that question is best best tackled and um, but again it is about how you interpret those um, meanings and whether you um, but at the end of the day it's about how you interpret those images and those symbols and how they speak to your subconscious because your subconscious works in symbols it doesn't work in words and the symbols are there to, to tease out the information is that bridge bridging gap uh, so I hope you have some fun with these and um, let me know how you go in the comments below and um, yeah happy rune making merry meet merry part and merry meet again blessed be Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did and you want to see some more, click on the links above. And if you think this witchcraft thing is something that you might want to pursue, then click on the subscribe button. Blessed be.